From the crab pot with wires to the hot pot, welcome to Miller's Island Crab Camp, where kids are learning how to catch from the dock and from the boat before eating some of the bay's best seafood. There you go. There you go. Everybody just get, get tight on there. Waterman Ryan Williams invites several young guests on his dead rise for a ride out to the bay where his crab pots are located. His deckhand Bobby pulls in a pot and the campers get a lesson oh, in measuring. Go. You know how to call them? You take this and you go point to point. So you take it and you go from that point to that point. The keepers stay, and based on Maryland law, less than five inches are tossed back in. The pot is baited again and thrown into the water. Catching crabs is um, like more experienced and like kind of hard. Just to try to catch them, you have to be quick with them. That repetition happens several hundred times a day as Williams and his crew pull in the crab pots. Crabbing isn't really that easy and that it can be fun. It's just you might have to spend a little money. Williams and his wife Lauren came up with the idea for crab camp a year ago. If you learn something at a young age, it's more in your mind. It stills in your mind a little bit better. And to get them off their phones and away from the video games and back outside like we used to be growing up. A walk down this pier is a familiar one for the husband and wife who got married right here at Dock of the Bay Restaurant last May. Owner John McAvoy is a partner with Crab Camp. Over time, it came up with the idea of how cool would it be to be able to use our pier and use his crab boat to come up with this idea for kids to learn how to crab. So in come the campers for the first year. They thought they would host one day-long class, but they sold out four sessions. What have you learned? I've learned how to make a crab pot. And I also learned how to steam crabs. And that was fun. What is it about the job that intrigues you? Like, so my friend, um, my friend's dad, he owns a boat and I go fishing on it and that inspired me to become like a crab, like to crab on the water. They learn the off-season work too of how to assemble crab pots. When they go in for the bait, they try to get out when they can't get the bait, but they put their eyes right there so they don't try to get out, but they go up in here and try to get out through the door. But the doors are closed, so they all get stuck. The manager at Miller's Island Crab Pot Supply says Chloe Abel paid attention. So the crabs get in through the funnels here. They get in because they're attracted to the bait inside the bait box. Then once the crab is in there, after it's eaten, it gets a little trapped and it works its way up. And it makes its way up through the holes in the bridge here and then it gets gets caught in this top section. If you're thinking, I want to be a kid, well, you're not alone. Miller's Island Crab Camp is going to open to adults this fall. Number one is uh, getting the kids to interact with each other. Look at them. Yeah. These kids don't even know them each other and they're all of them, yeah. sitting here kissing the crabs and yeah. having a good time. While the crabs are stuck on each other, the campers are just getting to know one another. Teaching the kids how to basically eat, feed themselves yeah. by the water. And after a day of camp, families came in to eat what their kids caught. You might be happy to know the organizers are starting to plan for crab camp next year. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.